All right. Uh oh. Cops coming. What me? Can't be everything. Went that way. Yeah. These are not the droids you were looking for. I'm on my way to the post office. I have two packages awaiting. So I'm pretty excited about that. One I think is from Scrap Vulture, which are the grabbers. But I have no idea what the other one is. So the uh, post office is just literally right around the corner here. So I'm gonna go pick that up. And it's rainy and cold. I guess it's better than Blizzard. So. Sitting here at the post office. But, uh, yeah. Guess what I got? I got my grabbers from eshippity.com. So thanks Scrap Vulture for sending me those. So, and also I got another package from a person from Hawaii. So I've gotten stuff from Hawaii and from Canada and throughout the United States. You guys are amazing. You know, I, I got a big pile of just Christmas cards and different stuff from people. So you guys are amazing. I love you all. It's, um, yeah. It's huge. It's all YouTube thing. So if if you have an inkling or a desire or a, an itch to make some YouTube videos, do it. Document your life. You know, just be you. Um, I'm just being me. You know, when I watch Scrap Vulture, he's just being himself. When I'm watching uh, Tucker Upper, he's just being himself. When I'm watching, um, you know, Scrap Kingdom, he's just being himself. And and jackpot digger and all those guys you know they're just being themselves you know i mean just watching the video the other day from um the bearded diver you know he was riffing on his guitar and i was like you don't just get those kind of talents overnight you know i've been around music for 35 years now um and so that was cool and i've been emailing back and forth with him and he shared with, with me some some uh some video of him playing live and um so no it this is some cool stuff so i'm just going to encourage you guys if you're thinking about documenting your life and your journey and your thought process i mean it's you know like just watching scrap viper you know he's documenting uh stuff that's myself. going along with it you know I'm going on with him i'm gonna go home first i'm gonna open up the packages now because yeah all right if i know how to do it it's like every corner is like extra taped. Oh, never mind. <laughs> right. read letter on camera but can show unboxing of item and what you think of it dear Paul <laughs> okay I won't actually read the letter so yes <laughs> that is honestly that is the coolest thing it with asterisks well yeah with asterisks and everything do not read letter on camera but can show unboxing I like in clear instructions yes what is the one Two, three, four of them. All right. Carhartt. Sounds good. Because uh, y'all know. All right. It's cold. First stop of the morning. Electric like motor. Bam, it's already broken down, too. I'll take the metal. There's stuff came out of that. So this is the house that in one of my videos I said busted film in their trash. Because I was actually going through their trash uh -huh. and the kids came out and they said, Oh, you're filming that because I had my camera or my phone camera. Yeah. And uh I said, Yeah, 
my YouTube channel is whatever. And the, so they wouldn't subscribe to me. And they, they did? Or yeah, what? they did. Yeah. Oh, okay. There you go. Oh, dude, I got my new toolbox, my new tool bag. See, I've been waiting for this tool bag. Oh, that is a tool bag, too, ain't it? Bam. All right. Is that what this is? Yeah. Oh yeah, good. Yeah. Trim. You trim for your house? Probably. Uh. Alright, I'm gonna grab this metal. What's that? Bridget. Yeah, yeah. I definitely need them. Go ahead. Just toss it. Rick said he barely could see a yeah. fan in this box. Oh. Oh. The eye for scrap. Definitely wire. You don't know what's under here. No. Hey, still works at the stop, that's for sure. Smells good. Oh, and this is aluminum wire too. Oh well. Soldered on the end. You think they're tinned? Tinned yeah. copper? Yep. All right. Use your use those snips and let's do a test. Maybe. Maybe not. No, it's a. Loom. Yeah. Let me see that. Oh yeah. That is not tinned. No. Yep, yeah, that's a little more. Which you know, there's a category for that. That or the worst case scenario is it's aluminum breakage at ten cents a pound. Right. Versus aluminum at 40, 30 cents a pound, I think my last stop was. Oh, yep, definitely some drywall and some totes. All right, I'm gonna pull up a little farther. Yeah, that looks a little bit bigger. Oh, yeah, that's going with. No way. There's no fan there, there's just a light. But still, it's yep. Here, I'll grab it. Yeah, here, I'm gonna, kick, I'm gonna kick it. I normally don't do this, but. Nope. Totes, my goats. Boom. That's what I'm talking about, bro. This is, this is, oh, okay, go ahead. 
That's the good stuff. That's fine. No piece. Oh, there's some Romex back in there. Drumstick. Yeah. Yeah, this is actually nothing. All right, it's actually back of that, uh, up against the, the wall of the garbage can. Yep. Oh yeah, it's oh, a nice a grip. And this is why we scrap. probably buy that on eBay. Bunch of balsa. Oh, it's for trim of something small. As I was driving by, I didn't see anything, but Rick saw that. See that little? That would fool the average scrapper going by. Well, at least this average scrapper. Chiching. And I see Illuminati, unless that's wood. You know, hey, that's just got a bad end on it. Right. You can clip that and reuse it. I mean, I was clipping with a topper, but the guy needed yeah. one. Those things cost like $30 for a new Yeah. I think I saw wire this time. <laughs> Trying to steal some credit. And a tennis racket. Old school. Yeah. Oh, it's a foot. That's a bunch of. Uh, all right, I need to get that. Good cat. <laughs> you know what? Here, let's let's keep that. That's that's cool. There's nothing wrong with that. Well, not no. there is now because I just Chinese uh, English dictionary. Oh. Oh, how you saying? Oh. I did a bit outside. How you say, uh... Hmm. Yeah, you just wonder. Whoa. There's some good stuff English here. Grammar in, I'll bet you, dude, you said books are worth money? Well, um, textbooks. Right. Hmm. I don't know. Should I bring any of these books? Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. I know it's in the recycle bin and it learn from the wolves. Huh. Oh yeah, duh. I mean I clip that. Okay. Keeper. Herman love stuff like that. Maybe would that be my my end for my next girlfriend? I got a box of pretty wood stuff. Oh, dude, that's that is nice. Yeah. All right. So we got some more cords. I can't believe people just throw that stuff away. Yeah. That's like a four four dollar bill that's brand new. Yeah, I could probably use this for the house. We could start a little hardware store. Yeah. 
quite a little mess we got started. You good? All right. Uh oh. Cops are coming. What me? Can't be anything. Went that way. Yeah. These are not the droids you were looking for. All right, so doing a little bit of mud work, prepping, gonna do some sanding after this. But check out what Rick did. Yes, I had a major leak here in the back of this tub. Rick the man, and, and I don't even know why they even had them here. That's a really strange setup, but so, yeah, this thing was actually spitting water out for who knows how long. So we're drying that out and so, yeah, then we got, oh, I forgot this one. Oh, that. we're gonna do this wall. Oh, that's we're right, waiting. yeah. We're waiting. Yes, he's got the plan. <laughs> a little TLC. Yeah. I, I have 30 years left in my life expectancy, so, yeah. It's like 29 years, 11 months, and I'll be, days, I'll be done with everything. We've taken all the um, non-ferrous, hence non-ferrous Rick. <laughs> We've taken all the non-ferrous and dropped it off at my house. My house, that, that has a good rhyme to it, doesn't it, house? Um, and we got 160 pounds of shred steel. So we got eight bucks in shred, and then a bunch of wire and aluminum that you guys saw that we picked. And again, some good items. A couple of helmets, right? Yes. Trek helmets, is that right? Trek helmets for, for cycling. Yep. That I just uh, actually, since we had a little break in the action, yeah, walked right over to that. Bike shop, about fifty bucks new. Yes, on the low end, you could spend up as much as 100, 100, 100, 120, 30 bucks. I think she said for. So, anyways, translation is, I guess, in a retail situation, you could probably get a twenty dollar bill for each one of them helmets. All right. So yeah, they we're in good shape. So we got a couple items that we're gonna try to do the resale thing. And now. Um, so you can tell we have a an empty truck and so we're going for round two so wish us luck we pull up into auto zones because i need to get some oil for my truck and guess what i find ping a boatload of pallets yep 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 these are probably carrying batteries because they have this extra sheet on them Put on them. Is it bad enough to miss them on no, it doesn't. That's good. <clears throat> we're on a pallet route, and we're here on... I can't remember the name of the place. But it looks like they're throwing away a couple. I don't even know what's in that. It says the Popcorn Factory, whatever that is. Premium sweet and salty, excuse me, snack. So we got five, six, seven, eight pallets. So hopefully I'll find some more pallets back here, but who knows. But now it's like, it's pretty much turning into a pallet route because my truck's full of pallets. What can you do? The Harley shop. Yeah, I gotta strap these down next. Yeah, for the shed. Yep, a couple pallets just sitting there waiting for me. I like that. Now what's up with this stuff? It's not nailed in there, is it? Dang it, that's gonna actually cause a problem. What? Yep. Is it nailed? I don't know what it is. Oh, it's screwed on. Rock. Ooh, that is not light. Well, it matters how screwed on it is. Are we able to 
get those boards. Let's see, one, two, three, four, and they look kind of stripped too. Kind of stripped. You could try it, see if it works. I can unscrew it. All right, let me go get the drill. Uh, it looks kind of stripped. Dollars. Oh, come on, dude. Don't hey, watch your finger. Myself, yeah. Watch your finger. Yeah. All right. So, got those pallets loaded up, all janky like. But I don't care. I don't feel like putting the tailgate down. There we go. Wait, wait a minute. Dude, we got a tall one. Yep. No, it's, I got it sitting on sideways. <laughs> oh! Duh! Dirt to dirt! I'm to get my glove. There's All right. Um, maybe. I don't know. All right. I'm, you want me to grab your gloves? Please. All right. So you got some Romex and a tote, a bin. That's a really big one. All right. Looks like, yeah, it looks like there's a bunch of Romex down there. I see the copper yeah, sticking out, yeah. All right. That sounds good to me. the uh, pallet yard and then we stopped at that dumpster real quick so we got uh, thirty dollars at the pallet yard um, and now we're gonna head back to my storage unit it's already close to two o'clock um, so in the scrap yards close at four so we're gonna separate some wire and aluminum and and other non ferrous stuff and do a non ferrous run and uh, hopefully we'll make a few bucks there and then go back to the house and do uh, some sanding of that mud. What's that stuff called? It's joint compound? Mud. Yep, sand that mud stuff and and get prepared for, for painting. I guess tomorrow's Wednesday. So I don't know if I'm going to be doing painting or scrapping. I don't know. I'll have to figure that out. <laughs> Alright, so we're back at the storage unit. And got some bins going here, some trash. He's taking the non aluminum off that aluminum. So we're gonna have aluminum, irony aluminum, different bins. Got a bunch of wire here. And uh, yeah, so I got about a 45 minutes until I need to. Um, Maybe an hour until we have to be at the at the scrapyard. So we're gonna to try to get as much of this stuff separated and scrapped out. So the breakdown for today, I gotta lose a little, oh, I lost my slip. Oh. So I think I said this earlier, we got $8 for some shred 
Um, we got $32 from pallets, is that right? Pallets. Yep. And then the breakdown for, so we had three pounds of uh, yellow brass for $1.20. We had some uh, Romex wire for $1.20, those four pounds of that. We had 48 pounds of number two wire at 45 cents a pound. Then we had five different categories of aluminum. Hmm. <laughs> Keep that one. Yeah, so I, so aluminum siding was 35 cents a pound. Extruded aluminum was 45 cents a pound. Cast aluminum, which was the least, which I'm surprised, was 33 cents a pound. Aluminum breakage was 10 cents a pound. And then mixed low CU clips clean aluminum, whatever that is. And that was 40 cents a pound for a total of 38 bucks. So today we got $8 of shred. <laughs> We had um, $32 of pallets, and then we had $38. And that's what all this, yeah. Money. Yeah, so we, we got a big, messy pile of money. So yeah, for, I don't know, 80 bucks today? You know? 80 bucks today. Yeah. We didn't break our neck. No, no, all we did was actually go out <laughs> mm -hmm. and pick up what we needed to pick up. Yeah, and we stopped yeah. from Lodge. Yeah. We didn't get started till about, Nine o'clock anyway. Yeah. I'm going to end off this with prayer. So, mm -hmm. Father God, you are amazing. Thank you for sending your son Jesus for us, that we're, we're reconciled with you, God. Thank you for today. Thank you for uh, allowing us to, to find some scrap and to, to do the right thing, God. Um, you know, thank you for hearing our prayers because you always hear our prayers, God. Uh, so, we love you. Um, let us continue to, to look to you for our next, our next step. Uh, and just humbly go um, and and do the right thing. So in the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. So I just got to my house, and I'm opening up a package from Greg from St. Charles, Missouri, I think, M-O, Missouri. So I have no idea what this might be. I'm going to take a second to get in here. Ooh, I'm hot. I'm tired. Whoa. All kinds of stuff popping up on my computer. <sighs> Read me first. Okay, so I don't know if I should be reading this stuff out loud. Hello, Paul, also known as Scrap and Pallet Man. I hope this letter finds you well. I have a few gifts and some ideas and advice to help streamline your operations. All right, so I guess I'm going to pause this and uh, finish <laughs> reading this. I don't know if he wants me to. Yeah, so, you know. So the guy gave me a ton of information and uh, <laughs> uh, recommendations. He gave me a little um, um, markers for, the, for if I have stuff sticking out of the back and I can retrieve them. He gave me a notebook um, and a bunch of little, um, you know, notes for... Uh, and even a notebook for scrapping and keep notes in, um, which is awesome. Um, so thanks, Greg. Uh, and he also gave me, um, you know, just some, uh, just some good information. Um, and for me, I can read a note on on YouTube and then kind of mentally put it up here and then go and forget it. Um, so. So Greg, thanks, man. This, this stuff is it's going to be huge because I can, it's readily available, you know. And also, I just want to say, I, I, I'm I'm tripping out on the support from the stuff that I've gotten, you know. So that's one, two, um, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mm, this is part of that one. <clears throat> Part of one, nine, ten Christmas cards. You know that that's pretty awesome stuff. So, so I'm floored. <laughs> Thank you guys.